Hey, welcome back everyone. Welcome to Auto Exit Channel where we feature some of the weirdest, wackiest cars, trucks, vans, campers, you name it, on YouTube. Today is a special day. This has been um, an ongoing project and it's finally done. It's finally ready for sale. It's a really special Toyota Coaster bus out of Japan. This is a 1992 Coaster. Uh, the older body style, the more attractive body style in my opinion. It's a little bit boxier, a little bit more character, a little bit friendlier looking. This one only has 30,000 original kilometers, so that's around 19,000 miles or so. It is outfitted to be a camper. Um, we've made some pretty big improvements over the Japanese DIY camper build that came with it from Japan. Um, and it's just in spectacular condition for, um, for its age, as you can see. It presents really well on the exterior. The paint is still shiny. It's got some really nice stripes, vinyl stripes that have been, been done all over it. Um, and it's just kind of a fuss-free vehicle. There's no rust, no body damage. Drives nice and honest down the road. Of course, we set it up with some new tires um, did a simple service on it and driving it around it's just got a ton of character it's like driving a bus but a very manageable size this is about 20 and a half feet long um, so why don't I show you around um, there's not a whole lot of signs of wear and tear on this vehicle as with the case uh, many of our vehicles but Let's turn the radio off. Okay, so driver's door in, um, door card, very simple. It's got a really cool double slider driver window, so you pull this tab, slide it 50-50 back, or you can slide this one. So, forward. Stepping in. Upholstery, seats, everything is original. It's in great shape. Um, it's got some aftermarket. They might be factory. Floor mats, vinyl flooring, heavy duty. Your parking brake lever is here. Um, a lot of controls face you right when you enter. So you have front and rear heat, AC, all of these controls. Um, this is an aftermarket switch we wired in for the radio so you can run it off your 12 volt batteries or your engine batteries so if you want to just chill 12 volt batteries meaning rather your coach batteries in the back We've got some really nice AGM batteries back there running off of a solar setup so hopping in We've got a pretty simple gauge cluster presenting 30,700 kilometers very low miles all original like many of our vehicles some more controls here for your intermittent wipers some dome lights and the heat booster we have set this up with a touchscreen aftermarket radio unit and a backup camera. We have a very robust A442 automatic transmission mated to a 14B diesel engine. That's a 3.7 liter naturally aspirated diesel, timing gear driven, as simple and reliable as you can get. This thing has nice chunky torque top end is around 65 70 you can cruise 60 65 on the highway no problem um ooh, don't want to show you guys the back yet you can skip ahead in the video for that if you'd like anyways we've got kind of a 
uplifting glove box here, middle jump seat, second front passenger seat, your dash, this part is uh, metal actually, um, and a nice big wide diameter bus style steering wheel, engine idle control knob, this is a diesel engine. Um, so that kind of does it all for the front. Um, a nice quartz clock, which which uh, shows AM, PM. It's in nice big lettering. For your passengers in the back, this would have been a bus. Under here lives your engine, so you can access that. That whole thing pops up for some pretty decent engine access. So, Let's continue our walk around. It has dualies in the rear. Very stable vehicle on the road. It, um, it just feels very stout. These were built tough, obviously, to carry people throughout Asia and across many other countries. We just never happen to get them here in North America, particularly the US. Rear trunk access gives you access to your storage area underneath the bed. Um, on the right is your battery bank. We have double AGM batteries. We have a Benigi 24 volt, 12 volt controller and your solar controller as well as uh, a bulk of wiring kind of your the brains of the operation so to speak live under here um, on the left we've got some plumbing your freshwater inlet on the exterior feeds into a 40 gallon freshwater tank um, there's a hot water heater as well on demand and your spray hose so you can rinse off outside and you know, have a warm shower, rinse off the dogs, whatever you need to do with that. That also just drains out through the bottom. So that's the back end of things. Big kind of storage garage here, which is great, and you can access it from the front too. The bed is on struts, both sides of it, so it lifts up for a little bit extra access. Up there, you'll see your backup camera mounted as well as the wire gland for your solar panels up top on the roof. <clears throat> All right, taking a look inside. Nice big step in, and you're met with the finished flooring we've done. Immediately on your left is your switch for your fridge so you can put it on 110 or short power only. It's a 12 volt DC, AC DC fridge. Behind the fridge we have a uh, battery charger there so you can plug that in and you can boost up your engine batteries off your solar bank If for some reason you die um, You can plug into the extension cord there and just kind of reboot your engine, which is a great feature um, Up above we've got a nice Setup of curtains which just pulls around all the way across so you have full privacy in here from the stranger danger. Uh, yeah, so you take a step back, you guys can see how that kind of petitions off your living space from your driving space. Let's put those back. Alrighty, so front cockpit here, one, two, three seats, engine access, fridge. On the right is your kitchen galley, 
very nice Japanese made semi residential kitchen. Uh, this is all stainless steel, huge, big, deep sink, um, hot and cold water, little sprayer. Um, up above is power for all your controls, your voltmeter, um, inverter, has a big, nice Vanner heavy duty inverter, hob vent, which is this right here, just a little vent fan for fresh air, stove vent, which is right here, and your water pump, obviously, for your water, and your fridge power. Um, we've got a nice copper style backsplash here, three burner stove top, and a Japanese style broiler here. You can put your fish on here and broil them up. Pretty sweet. This is all powered off of propane. Works wonderfully. Propane is stored in here. Got some more drawers and a thinner storage cubby here. This is your battery switch down here. We've got some USB power here for charging your phones. Another 12 volt outlet here for more charging and even more USB power and even more. And these AC outlets, one, two there, three, four, five, six, all run off of your shore power inverter or your battery. Um, either way, you can plug in, charge up, use your gadgets. Right here, we have a fold-up table for your dinette. So you can sit and dine. You can pop it down like so if you need more space. Behind is the bed, which is on struts, which I can't lift up with one hand, but you get access to your storage garage down there through that. Above we have double double LED, four, six LED lights. Um, so those are all set up. CO, smoke alarm CO2 for safety. Always good to have those. Um, back there are two reading lights. Let me demonstrate those. Pretty obvious, but you just push the button. Curtains all around, custom fit for every window. These windows are on sliders, so you can open them like that, which is great. And another one here. I don't think I need to demonstrate that. You guys get the point. And that is it. Let's step out. I'm not sure if I showed you guys under here. Um, we've got a few odds and ends, ignore that, but that's your water heater back there and some of your plumbing. There's also storage under this couch and under there. Let's turn these off. All right, so mini Toyota coaster bus. This thing is rock solid. It's just a phenomenal vehicle. I love driving it, so why don't we take you guys on a test drive right now. What do you guys say? Let's take this thing for a ride. Yeah, I think so too. All right, stepping in, nice big step up. And the cushy driver's seat. Big bus steering wheel facing me. Let's fire up this 3.7 liter 14B Toyota diesel engine. Fires right up. Lights. Just wanna demonstrate the backup camera for everyone. Oh, there it goes. Backup camera. All right, let's go forwards.
Driving this thing is very fun. Don't know why, just is. It's got some nice meaty low-end torque. Um, it's kind of a no frills, no fuss engine. Which is what we like over here. No electronics. This is a fully mechanical injected diesel engine. There's no electronically controlled injection pump. No ECUs. Stove's a little bit rattly back there because um, it was taken out of a Japanese home. Not really designed for motorhome use, but we made it work and it's pretty sweet. So let's just get this thing through the gears. It's a very upright seating position, which is always appreciated. Um, I'm sure as you guys can see, really wide view, sweeping view. You can even see down there right where your left front wheel would be. Um, and it's got plenty of power. Just kind of chugs along like a train. Doesn't ask any questions, doesn't really put up a fight. Yeah, it just pulls right up this hill. There's another red light though. All the climate controls are right here, just a short reach away, um, and all that stuff does work well. So I feel like I'm king of the road sitting in the seat here. Just something about being able to see out through this humongous windshield with this big round steering wheel. That's really, really just a pleasurable experience. I know I've said that before, but it's the truth. Someone who's driven most of these right-hand drive import Toyota vans, um, this one's just pretty brilliant. Let's open the window for some fresh air and the mirrors are super premium they give you such good visibility you've got that mini round one for your front end and just very nice big convex mirrors you can see it all cruising along at like 40 miles per hour ish and no problem the brakes feel very firm and responsive the bus tracks nice and straight down the road no pulsating on brakes no hesitancy under throttle You guys thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it this is a 1992 toyota coaster bus with a motorhome conversion
18,000 original miles. Hope you enjoyed the video and the drive through. Check in, stay tuned, like, subscribe, ring the bell for more stuff like this. Thanks again for watching.